And begin with Family Gras wrapped up tonight after a weekend full of music and parades. WGNO's Brittany Dixon was out there with all the action. The crew of Mad Hatters really is the perfect parade for Family Gras. I mean, the Alice in Wonderland theme, it's fun, it's whimsical. It really embodies what Family Gras and what Mardi Gras is supposed to be. It would have to take more than a little cold weather to bring down a party like Mardi Gras. At least it's not raining. For some people, Family Gras is a tradition. Just come here just, every year. Just come every year. To others, it's a new experience. We honestly picked it because it was the um, Alice in Wonderland theme, so we had no idea it was the whole family theme, but it's fun because it's not super crowded and seems pretty tame. And or just a chance to see Rick Springfield for free. But these parade goers tell us there's always a good reason to go to Family Gras. I love it. I love Mardi Gras. Yeah, it is fun. So how fun is it to be out here at Family Gras? It is so it's much fun. fun. The, the music is great. Do you know who Rick Springfield is? No. And, uh, we shouldn't be <laughs> the crew of Mad Hatters helped close out the weekend with their signature hats and a few special guests. So whether you come to see the bands, the floats, or just to spend time with the ones you love, Family Gras is the place to be. Everything is really nice and there's like music and stuff. We're only here for one, one day, day, so we're <laughs> making the most of it. And one day is really all you need because unfortunately Family Gras did come to an end a day early because the big game is on Sunday. But you know what? The two days it was here, it really drew a big crowd. In Metairie, Bernie Dixon, WGNO News.